everyone, it's Nicole from KenHub and welcome to this tutorial on the Taste Pathway. We'll mostly be using this helpful diagram today, highlighting the parts that we're talking about in green as we go along. And we'll be looking at a coronal section through the brain and the brainstem from an anterior view. And as you can see in this image, the slice of the brain has been cut just anterior to the pons in a coronal section. And we're looking at this image because conveniently the taste pathway runs nicely in this plane. The tongue is also shown in this image. And we're looking at the superior surface of the tongue with the front here and the back of the tongue over here leading into the trachea where we can also see the epiglottis and the vocal folds. Over here are the nerves implicated in the innervation of the tongue and throughout this tutorial there'll be other diagrams making an appearance but we'll discuss those when we get to them. The main topic that we'll be discussing today over the course of this video are the papillae of the tongue, the innervation of the tongue and the neural pathways to the brain. We'll also be looking at the roles of the other sensations of touch temperature and pain, and smell with regards to how we taste our food. And towards the end of the tutorial, you can look forward to the presentation of a clinical condition called dyscusia. Therefore, our main learning points for today are what senses are involved in taste, where taste is sensed, where it is processed within the brain, and how the taste signals are transmitted from the sensory organ to the brain. So let's begin with an overview of the sensation of taste. So taste is a really interesting sense as it is the interaction of several specific signals. And there are four of these and they include the gustatory or taste signals from gustatory cells on the taste buds, touch signals, in other words information on texture from mechanoreceptors in the oral cavity, and this is sometimes referred to as mouth feel, temperature and pain signals from bare nerve endings in the oral cavity are also provided, and olfactory or smell signals from the olfactory epithelium of the cribriform plate in the nasal cavity is our fourth and last signal. There are also some accessory structures assisting with detection of taste which we'll talk about a little bit later but first let's have a look at the gustatory signaling pathway. So gustatory information is detected by chemoreceptors on taste buds. Taste buds exist on taste papillae in the oral cavity and gustatory sensation is transmitted through three cranial nerves the facial nerve, cranial nerve 7, the glossopharyngeal nerve, cranial nerve 9, and the vagus nerve, cranial nerve 10. Through these nerves, signals reach the brainstem where they synapse and are relayed to three main areas of the brain, and we're going to go through these now in a little bit more detail. So most lingual papillae are on the upper surface of the tongue. However, there are also some papillae hanging out on the soft palate, the upper esophagus, and on the epiglottis. So there are a few different shapes of papillae found on different areas of the tongue, and we're going to go through them now. But keep in mind, there's essentially four different types of papillae, and these are the valate papillae, the fungiform papillae, the foliate papillae, and the filiform papillae. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.